Life is full of twist and turns. Life is full of twist and turn. Twist and turn. Twist and turns. We are the children of God. Twist and turns. Twist and turns. Life is full of twist and turns. Smadu. Hello, children. I'm Mr. Grace. In our today lesson, we learn about healing of the man with a withered hand. Healing of the man with a withered hand. And before we start our lesson, I want us to sing a song. We can stand and sing together. Jesus, come my healer, Jesus. Jesus of doing wrong. So they asked him, It is against our law to heal on the Sabbath. Jesus answered, What if, what if one of you has a sheep and it falls into a deep hole on the Sabbath? Will you not take or will you not take hold of it and lift it up? And a human being is worth much more than a sheep. So then, our Lord does not allow us to help someone on the Sabbath. Then he said to the man, with a paralyzed hand, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and it became well again, just like the other one. Then the Pharisees left and made plans to kill Jesus. Now, today we learn about how Jesus healed a man with a paralyzed hand. Jesus went into a synagogue. And a synagogue, it is like, it is a church. It is like a church. A synagogue, it is like a, like a church. Yes. When Jesus went there, he, he found a man with a paralyzed hand. And the man, the, the, the man with a paralyzed hand came to Jesus because he wanted to be healed. The paralyzed hand cannot be stretched out. Now, Jesus felt love towards the man who had a paralyzed hand. Jesus told the man to stretch out the paralyzed hand. The man obeyed Jesus and Jesus healed a man with a withered hand. So Jesus has power to heal. Even us when we are sick, Jesus can heal us. When you trust in Jesus, when you trust in God, God can heal us when we are sick. So, Jesus has power to heal. The way he healed the man with a paralyzed hand. The withered hand, it is like a paralyzed hand. That paralyzed hand, you can't stretch out your hand. But when Jesus told this man to stretch out the hand, and he got healed. So, we should trust in God. We should put our trust in God so that he can help us when we are sick. When you go to visit the sick people in hospital, you just tell them this trust in God and they will be healed. Now, that is the end of our lesson. And before we end our lesson, I want us to sing the song that we started with. And we can stand and we sing together. Jesus, you are my healer. Jesus, you are my healer. Jesus, you are my
the man to stretch out the withered hand. Hand and the man obeyed God. And the man obeyed Jesus. When he obeyed Jesus, Jesus healed that paralyzed hand and it was well. No, when you trust in God, when you do what God tells you, you will be healed. When you are sick, just put your trust in God and God will heal him. So, Jesus had power. Jesus had power to heal the sick. The way he healed the man with a withered hand. And the hand got straight and he Thank God for healing him. So even as children, when you are sick, just put your trust in God, pray to God, and God will heal you in your sickness. Now, that is the end of our lesson. I wish you all the best. May God bless you. Bye-bye for now.